What's up guys, welcome back to Crossing China. Right now, it's day three of our road trip in the Neo around or across China or kind of wherever we want to go. Um, and I just want to say a couple of things. First of all, um, I want to talk about how to get a driver's license in China because that's probably the most commented thing I get on my page or on my, my YouTube. It's either, do you need a driver's license in China? to drive a, a Chinese driver's license and how do you get one so while I drive today I'll talk about that and also talk about a few things about the the Neo and the road trip so far um, so let's get started I guess first of all let's talk about the Neo so far um, three days driving over a thousand kilometers almost all the way through Guangdong province into Fujian and I, I really I like the car more than ever uh, driving it is super duper comfortable. Like I said before on the first, my first day with the Neo, I feel like my, you know, my back won't feel sore. Uh, I feel like I will feel, I will feel great and comfortable driving this car. And so far after three days of driving a lot, I feel good. I feel, I feel wonderful. Um, a couple of things that help with that, the autopilot, the Neo pilot, it's really good. After that first day when I had that one issue that a lot of people commented on about uh, I said the car slowed down kind of suddenly, I haven't had that issue again yet. The best thing about the Neo Pilot so far, besides like driving on the highway like right now, uh, I'm not using it, but is when you're in stop and go traffic, you just put that on and you still pay attention, but you know, in stop and go traffic, it's just, it's terrible to actual dri actually drive. So being able to have the autopilot has been great. So far, I guess my biggest complaints with the car um, that, I, that I didn't really notice before, easy, get down. So, so far my biggest complaint about the car that I didn't really notice before until just a few specific situations is the visibility in, in the back, um, the blind spot, like when you're looking over your shoulder to your right side, the, the pillar in the back is really big. It's you know, it's usually not something you really notice. Your mirrors will do a job to help you. Uh, if you're driving slow, you know, you have the, the 360 camera around, you have the screen here, the monitor. But like, there was one situation where the road was just really screwed up and you had to like cross traffic coming this way and to get across the other way. And I really couldn't see anything back there. It was kind of scary, but luckily traffic wasn't too bad and you know, I didn't die. Um, so I would say the visibility in the back, especially on the right side, is not great. Um, but other than that, like I have no real issues with the car yet. Everything's been wonderful. Um, there are a few small design details that I'll talk about in another video. Um, but for now, it's great. So I'm happy with the car. So I hope you guys uh, can see that. Uh, now let's talk about driver's license in China. So anybody that wants to drive in China needs a Chinese driver's license. Um, it's not difficult to get. It's really not. You, if you have a driver's license in your home country, you're going to be able to just take a written test. It's actually a computer test and it's in English or your native language. Uh, and it's really not difficult. I'm just going to tell you my experience with getting a driver's license in Shanghai. Because uh, w when I got my driver's license, again, it was in Shanghai and it was like four or five years ago. So I can't really give you the whole rundown of it whole details but there's a website I'll put up on the screen here for you um, they have some information about getting a driver's license um, and also one thing to add before I tell you how I did it is every kind of city every place in China even though the rules might be the same um, the process may be very different um, on this website I just mentioned uh, I don't know the name but it's on the screen right now on this website uh, there's people that have said and have commented if you look down in the comments that their, their situation was different um, and I know that I had a friend in Yunnan province uh, in a small town in Sichuan Banai and he said when he took his test they either didn't have the English test available to him or they didn't uh, know how to give it to him or they just didn't want to maybe they were lazy and so basically they had a Chinese person that worked there do the Chinese test or tell him which buttons to click to get the right answers and that's how he got his license. So um, your situation is gonna be different no matter where you are. But let's say in Shanghai, Shenzhen, a big city, uh, the process from what I remember was like this. Um, first time you go down there to like the DMV and you do uh, 
um, you turn in all your paperwork um, you have like to have the translated documents of your passport your visa your driver's license you have to have your health check um, they check your eyes you know your your hearing that sort of stuff real basic real simple and then the second time I went I went to go actually take the test uh, again this is my memory from four or five years ago um, you take the test after you, you make an appointment you take the test and it's really not that hard um, I'm putting up some question some questions from the test on the screen right now um, you can see the biggest issue with the test the biggest problem at least for me was that we had um, the biggest problem for me was that a lot of the questions were not really translated very well um, they're kind of chinglishy they're not super clear what the actual answer should be um, but for the most part the questions are not hard uh, and there's an app it's called drive in china that's where these questions that i'm putting up on the screen are, they come from um, they're the exact same questions that are on the test even the same pictures everything's exactly the same um, there's a bank of like 1500 questions and when you take the test there's a hundred questions that you can uh, possibly get and to get your driver's license you have to get 90 out of 100. so again it's really not difficult um, but if you're just coming to china as a tourist then there's no need to get a driver's license and you probably can't get one because you need to have a visa that i believe is at least 90 days long um, so your tourist visa probably won't cut it uh, you need to have a residence permit that sort of thing so yeah getting a driver's license if you want to drive in China, you have to, um, but it's not difficult. So I hope that's helpful. And check that website I put up. I put the link in the description. And Drive in China is the name of the app. Okay, so that's basically it. That's all I want to talk about today. Um, I have a lot of stuff I want to share with you as I go on this trip around China. However, it's going to be very busy driving and traveling and filming. And I probably won't have a lot of time to edit stuff. Um, but stick with me. I'll show you. I'll talk about Neil. I'll talk about some stuff like this real basic stuff And hopefully in a few months after I've traveled all around China. I can put together some really cool uh, more in-depth high-quality uh, Content about travel in China, but for now we're just gonna be real simple travel vlogs. So I hope you don't mind and um, That's it. So take care guys. See you later. See you next time Bye bye So I've been here charging my car for like 20 minutes and um, I just see my first fellow Neo user also on a road trip. They are from Hunan, their license plate says. So quite far away. And they're driving an ES8. Every other um, charging station I've been to, I haven't seen any Neos yet. I've seen plenty of Tesla though. It's only been, what, four charging stations so far, I guess but still.